shouldn't have come. How'd you know I was here? I heard what Bellamy's man told you. Well, you have to get out of here fast. The place is surrounded by Bellamy's cutthroats. All right, get in. No, I'm staying. There's a boat coming to pick up the loot from the castle. It's my job to stop them. And I'm staying, too. I'll have to follow them. Please go home. Not without you. Returning material to Gar Castle. Get to a phone. Tell Inspector Ross to have his squad cars. Cut them off. I'll All trail right. them. Be careful. What's this all about, Spike? Are you in the moving business? Yes, for the time being. I'm taking this stuff back to Gar Castle. I'll have it there by morning. But where's Valerie? I persuaded her to go to a hotel. Good. Well, they must have missed them. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll get them and turn them over to you all labeled and soon, too. Take care of my car, will you? I'll pick all it up right. later. Get over to Lady's Manor. See what happened to Jake. If he talks, it's dangerous to us all. Now, hurry. Yes, sir. You sure put me in a jam. My advice to you is to play ball with the police. Tell them what you know. They'll protect you. I'm going to my room. Watch him closely and let me know the moment Captain Thompson arrives. You think the cops will take care of me if I sing? Sing? You know, talk. Oh, well, my opinion isn't worth much, but it seems to me your only chance. Then that's what I'll do. I'll talk. The Greedy Archer! He killed both!
He just stood out the window. Get him! Nix, I ain't going no place. It's a put-up job to get me here. You never had no clothes. Get Mr. Howard. I'll tell him plenty. Oh, very well. Say here, fellas. Me and the governor's getting pretty well fed up on these bad reports. Shut up, Dimwick. We ain't taking anything from you. Why? You hang on to the boss's heels like a Pomeranian. What's that Pomeranian crack? Lapdog. Oh, all right. I thought you was calling me names. <laughs> You'll get yours. Here comes the governor. Well, I see by your fallen chins that something's gone wrong again. No. We followed through with him like you ordered. We were bringing the truck here like you said. We ran into a bunch of cops armed with riot guns. We took it on the land to keep from being pinched. Well, you used your brains. That's something. You were right, Mr. Bellamy. Jake tipped him off about the warehouse. And from what I heard, he was going to sing plenty. But of course he won't now. Of course not. He's decorating the garden lawn. And I hope the guy that's imitating me trips over him. <laughs> Why, you are surprised to see me? I know. You thought I was dead. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Now, you tell your master I'm here and that I'm returning everything that was stolen from the castle. Well, he'll, he'll be very pleased. And don't you kid me. You'll be scared to death. Now, go on. Tell him I'm here pronto. I'm in a hurry. Uh, of course. Won't you step in? Oh, no. After you. You're the elder. You better break the news to him gently. I'm hoping it'll be a shock. <laughs> yes? All right, all right. But above all, keep your mouth shut. I'll be right up. You blundering idiots! You told me Spike Holland was dead. He's waiting in my library right now. Why, he can be. We saw him sink like a rock. He was tied hand and foot. All right, all right. This is no time to argue. Have it your way. The man is dead. I'll go and explain to his ghost. I'll get this. Give me three minutes, then follow me. As soon as he steps into the hall, jump him. Uh -huh. You pulled another floomer. Would you Cut out. I'll see if I can hurry, Mr. Bellamy. You stay where you are. I like your company. We'll wait together. Well, Holland, this is a surprise. Savini tells me that you've recovered my antiques. Yes. I want to apologize for my appearance, Mr. Bellamy. But I had a little difficulty in recovering your stuff. It seems that certain people were trying... Why should I tell you something you already know? Well, how should I know? Why don't you drop the pretense, Mr. Bellamy? It's a waste of time. We're playing a game and you're dealing from the bottom. But I'm holding a hand you'll never beat. The law. Well put, Holland. I'll try to see that you never have a chance to play that hand. If that's a threat, save it. Inspector Ross, the city police, knows that I'm here. And if he doesn't get word from me within a reasonable length of time, he'll tear this place apart to find me. You think of everything, don't you? Now that you've returned my property, get out! Oh, no. Not until you sign a release on these goods. Incidentally, my company is canceling your policy. I might not be so lucky the next robbery. I'll sign nothing until I know that everything is returned. That's easy. You just come with me. Your stuff is right at the door. Your moving van included. We'll check it together. Oh, no, 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 no. After you, too, if you don't mind.
finish him, boss? No. Lock him up. I've got other plans. Valerie! I've been worried to death. Where have you been? Helping Spike round up the crooks who stole the antiques from the castle. Has he phoned? No. Oh, that's funny. He was returning the stolen goods to the castle. Mr. Howard! Mr. Howard! Mr. What is that Jake person is out on the lawn? Dead. Killed by an arrow. <laughs> the green archer. Now, will you stay here? Hello? Miss Valerie Howard? Yes, this is Miss Howard. Would you be interested in learning the fate of your sister, Michael Bellamy's wife? Oh, yes, more than anything in the world. I can give you that information. I want nothing but revenge. Why will you do this? The bird that took her away double-crossed me plenty. And I want him finished. Where will I meet you? At 3 o'clock, come to 10 Mile Roadhouse. Do you know where it is? Yes, yes, I know the place. Come alone or there's nothing doing. All right, I I'll be there at 3 o'clock. I'll come alone. Well, well. Well, from the way she took it, I think it'll work. Good. Hey, Governor! <laughs> the gang's on the way with Alan. He's tight and blindfolded. <laughs> Why didn't you finish him here and get the girl later? And have the city police search the castle? No. The girl will serve to make him do just what I want him to do. He must stay close to the radio room and listen for reports. Watch your step, Tony. I'll get your counsel. Yes, miss? I was to meet someone here at 3 o'clock. I don't know his name. I know all about it. It's better not to mention names. Come into my office. Let us sign up. It's an easy way out. Confess to a lot of crimes that your boss, Abel Bellamy, is guilty of. You're crazy. I'll sign nothing. Well, the little lady safely locked in my office. Maybe you'll change your mind now. We've got your girlfriend. I don't believe it. All right, I'll give you a look. Turn off the light. Turn around. Look! Valerie! Valerie! Yell all you want. The room's soundproof. All right. Give me it. I'll sign it. Turn them off. Oh, no! You don't get this till I know the girl is safe. Okay, okay. Send her on her way. And to show you I'm on the up and up, I'll turn on the loudspeaker so you can hear what's said in there. Turn them off. He phoned again. He couldn't come. He's being watched. He said he'd contact you later. You better go quickly. I'm sorry. Thank you. Satisfied? Yeah. Turn on the light. Wait a minute.
we do? Keep them there till Stevens gets them. prisoner is fresh from a fight. Now we're sure of it. Will Elaine escape? Operator, operator. So it's the butler again. Watch him closely. Don't miss the dagger that failed. Next week's exciting chapter of The Green Archer.